We go in depth now with the Target 12 investigators. We've learned there is a critical shortage at the medical examiner's office, which has led to a significant increase in cost to hire outside contractors to perform autopsies. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us live in studio now. And Tim, you found that Rhode Island is feeling this national shortage mm. of forensic uh, pathologists particularly hard. Yeah, I mean, Kayla, there's been a lot of vacancies at the state office of the medical examiner for years, and that has driven up the cost as you said, to perform autopsies in the state. Now, normally the state pays around $250,000 a year for outside contractors to perform post-mortem examinations, but data from fiscal year 2022 we examined shows taxpayers spent $1.1 million that year on contract forensic pathologists, a massive spike about four times as much. The deputy director of the Department of Health says they have had trouble hiring a chief medical examiner and assistant medical examiners to do the work themselves. I think it's a national issue and not limited to Rhode Island. The shortage of um, forensic pathologists all over in different states has caused for multiple states, all states almost, to rely on contractors. In response, the state has proposed pay raises to try and make Rhode Island more competitive. If approved by the Department of Administration, the chief medical examiner's pay would grow from $295,000 a year to $350,000 a year. And Tim, you reported that the state hasn't had a full-time chief medical examiner since 2016. Right. And demand for autopsies, this surprised me, has been on a steep increase. Yeah, I mean, it's never good news when that office is busy, Kim. And it, let's take a look at the numbers of full autopsies for the past four fiscal years, as you can see, they are on the way up from 656 in fiscal 2019 to 914 in 2022. Now, the biggest driver is the opioid crisis. By law, the state has to conduct an autopsy on someone who died of an overdose in case the results need to be used in the prosecution of a drug dealer. Now, those numbers, though, don't represent the total deaths in Rhode Island. No, they don't. I mean, in 2021 alone, more than 11,000 people died in the state of Rhode Island. So obviously not every death gets an autopsy. Those are performed for unattended or violent deaths or if there's a compelling public interest. All right, and you can see Tim's full report right now on WPRI.com. Tim White, thank you. Thank you.